Welcome, we're here at the UNEC in Geneva uh, with François. François, welcome. François, you are the, the Secretary of the Working Party on Automated uh, and Connected Vehicles here at the UNEC. And uh, today I would like François to ask you a few questions about Pleasure. automated vehicles and digitalization in the automotive transport in general. And the first question I'd like to ask you is to what, to what extent intelligent transport system uh, can contribute to the fight against climate change? So, yeah. At UNSC, we work on intelligent transport systems for a very long time, probably two decades. And one of the main aspects that we had in mind very often was about safety, road safety. But we, we also considered many times the aspect related to environmental performance and also climate change mitigation. And this was the case during the Bordeaux conference, the international conference on ITS in 2015. The French government organized a, a conference, a ministerial conference, and we adopted there the manifesto, which was ITS uh, mitigating climate change. And there we identified already some years ago many aspects of ITS that could contribute to mitigating climate change. And I can mention a few examples. Uh, for example, automated vehicles, uh, they will come this kind of benefits, connected vehicles. Uh, applications related to GNSS, satellites, uh, any things related to traffic management, eco-traffic management, for example, but also eco-driving. All these things have a potential and they can be used if we really create an intelligent transport system. And you mentioned uh, automated driving. Uh, I would like to ask you to what extent can automated driving or does automated driving take into account uh, congestion and getting to air pollution, for example? So yes, so uh, I mentioned safety already. So this is something that is extremely important to us. We want to say the benefits of automated driving without risking safety. So we focus on safety, of course, but while we are drafting regulations, we don't neglect these other aspects. And for example, even for a simple system like an automated lane keeping system on motorways at low speeds, there we have provisions that are important in order to make sure that the systems, these cars, will not create traffic jams and that they will operate in a reasonable manner with regard to energy, etc., energy consumption. So it's important, it's already done now for very simple regulations for automated driving systems. And we will continue, of course. Okay, thank you, Francois, again. And thank you very much.